Okay, so another situation on engineering mechanics. A billboard 4 meters high and 6 meters wide is supported on each end by a pin jointed assembly as shown. Okay, bracings are not shown for simplification. Uh, the total weight of the billboard is 34 kilonewtons and we had this pressure Q, this one that is 1.44 kPa. So um, basically this is due to the wind pressure. Okay, so um, we have the coefficient of the wind that is C and one that is 1.2. Okay, so calculate the vertical reaction at A, the horizontal reaction at A, I mean this is C. Then determine the normal stress in strat BC with cross-sectional dimension 10 mm by 50 mm. So this is a passport problem. Okay, so uh, may malaking chances talaga na mga... Uh, uh, me mechanics problem sa uh, board exam is mababalik-balik okay so how do we start this so we have 4 meters high and 6 meters wide this is the billboard ito yun. okay so that is 4 meters high and 6 meters wide and, uh, and take note this is pin and pin dito so how to calculate the reactions of course we need to expose the forces involved dito Okay, so the wind pressure will cause normal force or normal um, resultant force in this billboard. And let's call that force due to wind. Okay, and of course we have this total weight of the billboard. That is 34 kilonewtons. Okay, and ito yan. Now, the force of the wind is just, take note that the force is just the pressure times area. So we have this pressure here, but we need to multiply it by the um, wind pressure coefficient, that is uh, the C. So we have 1.2 the, times the pressure of the wind times the projected area. Okay, that one, that is 6 times 4. And ito yung magiging force the, of the wind natin. Okay, that is 41.47. Okay, so let's go back to the... Um, plain view na lang para mas madali. So since take note that this force and this weight is acting at the center of this billboard, so analyzing one of the brace dito or one of the supports, madadivide natin yan by 2. Dapat um, hahatiin ng um, supports dito and the support sa kabila. Okay? Huwag kayong mas scam dito. Okay, look at that. So magiging yung 41.70 Ano ba yun? Okay, so we have this 41.47, magiging half na lang dito pag tiningnan natin sa side view. And this 34, magiging half na lang din, and magiging, ito yung mga values natin. Okay, nasundan lang. So we have these values. Now, in order to calculate the reaction at C, and reaction at A, and the normal stress, um, we need to draw the free body diagram. And since that is pin to pin, of course, yung support natin dito is dalawa rin. CH and CB and dito rin. EH and AB. So, this is my assumption. Okay, sa reaction at A that will going up and that is going to the left. And sa C is going to the right and going up yung vertical reaction. Okay, it's up to you. Ano yung mga uh, assumptions nyo? Okay, mas um, makikita naman natin sa solution mamaya. Okay, magiging negative lang yung answer natin. Now, look, look at this. Um, take note, observe the figure. Okay, from our previous problem, dinascuss ko yung um, two force member. Ano nga yung two force member? That is the member of structure that is only loaded between two points and walang load in between sa body niya. So, this member AB, as you can see, that is a two force member. Do you agree? Because it is only loaded between point A and point B. And of course, this member, um, um, BC, is also a two-force member. Again, pag walang load in between the body niya, that is a two-force member. So meaning, yung total reaction ng A, that one, and total reaction ng C, should be equal sa force in member BC. Okay, so meaning that force in member AB is equals to RA that is collinear and also this uh, RC is equals to force in member BC 
Okay, klaro. I hope you can get this um, uh, principle. Okay, so mas madadali, mas mapapadali kasi yung solution natin. Now, knowing this, we can actually focus on joint B. Parang nag method of joint tayo sa truss. Okay, focusing on joint B. So by cal calculating the vertical reaction at C, ito yung hinahanap natin. So, by calculating na lang dito, okay, so focus on joint B, summation of forces horizontal, and that will be, so going to the left yung FAB natin, that will be FAB cosine of angle. So, take note that if this is 60 degrees, yung half nito is 30 degrees. So, magiging FAB cosine of 30 degrees. Okay, we are considering the um, horizontal component of this FAB. Then take note that this is going to the going to the right, and that is plus FBC that one, and the horizontal component is cosine of thirty degrees. Then this is going to the left twenty point forty seven minus twenty point equate to zero. So hindi ito masasali sa equation natin because we only take forces horizontal. Okay. Now as you can see, we created um equation say i simplify natin ito yan cosine of 30 degrees then i transpose natin and let's make this an r equation 1 okay i hope hindi kayo malito dito okay if that is ra okay that is away from the joint so sa kabila that is also away from the joint if this is rc that should be equal opposite but the same direction Okay, so dito, ma that will be going to the joint. That is that means that is a compression member. Okay, if that is our equation 1, where can we find the equation 2? Of course, summation of forces vertical equals to 0. Okay, so we have the vertical component of FAB, and that is sine of 30 degrees, plus um, vertical component of FBC, take note that is going upward, so plus FBC, sine of 30 degrees pa rin, then this 17 is going down so minus 17 then rearranging this okay kung ano yung arrangement natin sa taas dapat ito yung arrangement sa ibaba okay that is our equation 2 and grab your calculator piece you can actually solve na this using um, um, two equations to announce okay so we have these values Okay, so take note that yung hinahanap sa number 1 is the vertical reaction at C. Okay, now by knowing that FBC is equals to RC, we can simplify that further. So, um, FBC is equals to RC, okay? So, meaning that CV is just RC sine of 30 degrees. Okay, this one. And that is 28.97 or FBC sine of 30 degrees yung vertical component niya of course because of course if this is 30 degrees dito okay let me draw lang okay if this one here is 30 degrees ayun okay so meaning this one is also 30 degrees okay klaro kaya this is um, sine of 30 degrees Okay, tanggalin ko lang. So, we, here, we calculated CV and that is 14.49. Okay, that is for part 1. How about the horizontal reaction at A? So, okay, so take note that we calculated the force in member AB, that one. And FAB should be equals to RA. Okay, for part 2. AH is just RA cosine of 30. Of course, yung horizontal component niya. And by knowing that RA is just FAB, so we can directly substitute this 5.03 cosine of 30 degrees and that is 4.35 degrees. Okay, so actually, may ibang solution dito, no? If na um, medyo malilito kayo sa um, two force member principle, you can take summation of moment about A or C, but for me, ito talaga yung pinakamadaling solution. Okay, so, for number 3, determine the normal stress in strut BC, and, okay, so, basic, force over area. 
So, FBC over the area. Okay, take note, we have this dimension. Excuse me. Okay, so we have FBC. So, let's convert this to Newtons. Okay, para MPA yung lumabas. Then, the area is 10 mm times 50 mm. And we have this answer. Okay. Now, let's try another example. Board problem para. For the gable frame shown in figure that one, the design wind force on structure is computed as the product of the basic wind pressure P and the coefficient C. Wind force is a pressure if coefficient is positive and the suction if coefficient is negative. Okay, so if that is positive, pressure that is towards the member, uh, that is negative, that is suction meaning vacuum. Okay, so we have this. So we have C1, C2, C3, C4. Ito yung determinant natin if that is pressure or that is suction. Okay, so consider 6 meters in diameter, I mean 6 meters design tributary width of the gable frame. If the roller support at B, this one, were changed to hinge support. Okay, so pwede kayong mascan dito pag hindi nyo to binasa. Okay, dito. Um, it will be changed to pin support and a hinge is added at D at that point. So calculate the following. Okay, so interpret muna natin yung mga sinasabi dito. That one. So it is stated that this is 6 meters to um, um, yung tributary width natin dito going to that direction. Okay, it's perpendicular to the screen. So ibalik ko lang. Now, um, that one. So, magiging pin yung B. Okay, sinabi dito. Pin support at B. That is change. And naging hinge yung joint D natin. Okay, so how to calculate the reaction at B? Of course, we need to calculate the resultant forces due to the wind. Okay, so how can we start this? Of course, this is the wind pressure at this member. Take note, the C1 is positive, meaning that is um, pressure that is towards the member. Now, C2, that is negative yung coefficient natin. That means that is suction. That will be, um, by the way, calculate na lang muna natin. Ha? So, this pressure should be 1.44 times the coefficient 0.8. That will give this 1.152. Now, for C2, this member, that is suction. Okay, take note that wind pressure always always act normal to the members. If this is the member, wind pressure should be normal or 90 degrees with the member. And that is um, negative 0.1 or 0.1 times the wind pressure 1.44 and that is 0.144 kilopascal. Okay, again, yung yung coefficient natin na uh, yung signs ng coefficient natin that is the determinant if that is com I mean that is pressure or that is suction okay this is suction uh, meaning naka, uh, binacum ng wind yung member natin dyan then for member nito C3 that is also negative and C4 negative so that is suction na yung matitira okay this one should be 0.2 times 1.44 or 0.288 and this one is 0.4 times 1.44 and of course that is suction so going outward so that is 0.576 kilopascal now um, since we need to calculate the reactions lang dito mas magandang kunin natin yung mga resultant forces natin dito okay so take note that is uniformly stresses so Ito yan. Okay, by principle, since that is a wind, okay, pwede natin siyang gawin pa, pa ganito. Okay, the same magnitude pa rin ng pressure natin. But this is just the projected area dito and of course dito. Okay, pwede natin, of course, in calculating the resultant, no? um, kukunin mo natin yung resultant force pa ganito. And of course, para mas madali yung solution natin, gagawin natin siyang components x and y so mas maiging diretso nito since knowing that this is a wind pressure pwede nating gawin ito okay so ito yung ma um, simplified approach dito kasi 
pag naka-incline yung wind pressure natin, pwede natin gawin ito. Um, components na, kumbaga, naging components na siya diretso, but in pressure pa lang. Okay, so, resultant force F1, let, um, assuming that is 1, F2, F3, F4, F5, and F6. Okay, so we need to calculate these resultant forces para makuha yung um, mga tinatanong dito. Okay? So, ayun. Okay, binaba ko lang. Uh, vertical reaction at B. So, calculate muna natin. F1 is just pressure times the projected area. Take note that the tributary width dito is 6 meters. So, the area is 6 times uh, perpendicular length na 6. And this way, this one will give that one. Okay, F2 naman. Ito, that one. Take note pa rin that the tributary width is 6. And this is 3 meters projected vertically. So, that is pressure, that one, times 3 times 6. And this will give us this value. F3, um, pressure, that pressure, times the area. So, take note that this width here is 8 meters. Again, perpendicular width is 6 meters. And that will be the value. F4, pressure times area pa rin. So, I hope you can follow na this. That is just the area. 8 times 6. Dito naman. The same pa rin. That will be yung area natin dito. That is the projected 3 meters by 6 meters. And this is the pressure. Then, F6. Pressure times area. So, area here um, should be... I think na miscalculate ko to. That should be 6 times 6. Okay. This is 6 na mistype ko. Okay, so let me correct this. This one should be 6. Okay. So let's try in the calculator if correct ba yung uh, solution natin. If correct ba yun? 0.576. Um, actually, no? Um, this one, this pressure is half nito. Half ng 1.152. So meaning, this value of F6 should be half ng um, 41 point. Okay, so that is correct pala. No need to um, ch um, change that. Okay. okay, so that is ang nagkam, ang namali lang sa um, pag-type ko is yung 3. Dapat that should be 6 times 6 perpendicular. Okay, and that is the answer. Now, Using these values, okay, sinubstitute ko lang ha. Huwag kayong malito dito. Yung mga values na yan, sinubstitute ko lang dito. Okay, so we have that. So, how to calculate the vertical reaction at B? Of course, we need to sum up moment about A. That should be zero. Okay, so ano yung mga forces involved dito? Okay, so since we need to take moment about A, kunin natin to. Distances. That is just half of 6 or 3 meters. And this one up to A, that is ano ito, that is 6 meters plus half ng 3 meters or that is 7.5. And this one naman, okay? Um, we will take moment about A, so we need to calculate this. This is just half of 8 meters or 4 meters. This one, okay, so this is 8 meters plus half ng 8 meters or 4 excuse me and this will give us 12 meters okay so ito lang yung mga needed distances natin since look at this at this um, point they will be having the same moment arm lang dito and of course ito rin the same lang linear lang siya okay so we have unahin natin to so 41.472 plus ito i-add na lang natin kasi the same direction mo lang sila okay add natin times the moment arm na 3. Next, this one, itong dalawa, i-add na lang natin. So, 5.184, then that is going to the left direction, minus 2.692. This is 2.592. Okay. Marami kong mali ha. This is 5.184 and 2.592. The moment arm is 75, 7.5 rather. Okay. Next, okay, clockwise rotation yun. This one, 6.91912 will cause counterclockwise rotation about A. Okay, as you imagine, 
mag-create yan ng counterclockwise rotation. So, 6.912 minus um, times 4 meters, the moment arm. Okay, ito rin. That will cause counterclockwise rotation. So, that value, ito, times 12 meters. Okay, now, itong BV times 16. Counterclockwise rotation pa rin. Okay, this horizontal forces here will not create moment about A. And we calculated A, B, B data. Okay, klaro? That is the answer for part 1. So, I want you to correct this, no? This should be um, 2.592. Baka, kaya hindi exact yung nakuha ko. Yung pag-calculate ko kasi hindi exact dito. Please check this one dito. That is 2.592. Okay, anyways, napakaliit lang yung discrepancy niya. Okay, pag medyo mali siya. Please, correct lang this. Importante dito is yung uh, principle. Okay? Now, the horizontal reaction at A, this one. So, how can we calculate this? So, first, mas magandang kunin muna natin yung AV. This one. So, AV can be directly calculated by summation of forces vertical. Actually, mas advice ko sa inyo na gawin yung summation of moment about B. Then, uh, summation of force vertical for checking na lang if correct. Okay? So, anyways, diretso na ako dito para hindi masyadong mahaba yung video. Okay? Forces vertical, that should be AB plus BB plus this vertical force plus the vertical force. Okay? Lahat is going up. Okay? So, we assume AB here is that is going up also. So, ang lalabas is negative 21.472 kilonewtons. Okay? If that is negative, that means yung assumption natin dito should be going down na yung force. Okay? So, again, and I will not I will advise you na huwag nating i-change yung force na lang dito. Uh, we will retain the negative side. Okay? So, makikita nyo yan. Now, after we calculated AB, how to calculate AH? We cannot directly calculate AH by summation of moment about B. Okay, take note that is just going to that point. Walang moment yan. So, take note that this is a hinge. We can cut at that point. Okay, so i-consider natin. Ito na lang. Okay, bakit natin ginawa? Yan. Because hinge yan, we will take advantage na walang moment at that point. Okay? Now, by summation of moment about D is zero. So, Take note that we need to calculate these distances. So, that is 3 meters plus 3 meters or 6 meters. This one naman, that is just half of 3 meters or 1.5 meters. And that is half ng 8 meters or that is 4 meters. meters. So, we can take moment about D directly by... Okay, unahin natin tong Ano ba yung force na inuna ko dito? Times 8. Okay, so take note, we have AB. Inuna ko yung AB siguro. Okay, AB. That will cause clockwise rotation. Okay, about D. So that is AB times one uh, times 8 meters. But take note, AB is negative 21.472. Kaya substitute na lang dyan, AB. Okay, ito yung sinasabi ko. Huwag na natin i-change yung force para hindi kayo malito. But we will retain the negative side. Okay, that is AB times 8 clockwise rotation, then AH, una, uh, isunod natin to. AH will cause counterclockwise rotation at D. So, that is minus AH times, ano yung moment arm natin? From here up to that point. So, that is 6 meters plus 3 meters 9. Then, this one also will create counterclockwise. So, this value times the moment arm 6. Okay, minus pa rin. Then, itong 2.592 will cause counter, I mean, clockwise rotation about T. Okay, as you observe, this one will cause rotation pag ganyan, clockwise. So, positive times the moment arm 1.5. Then, this one, 6.912 will also cause, count, uh, I mean, clockwise rotation at D. So, that value times 4. And that will give us AH as negative 43.23. Okay, klaro? The horizontal reaction at A. Now, the total force in the gable frame. The horizontal force pala. Okay. Ano yung horizontal force acting on the gable frame? Okay. So, we need to consider all the um, system. So, horizontal force. Ano yun? Um, look at the horizontal forces lang. Okay. 
and i-disregard mo yung reaction. Horizontal force acting lang. Okay, so the total horizontal force is just 41.472 plus 20.736 that is going to the right minus that one. Okay, 2.512 then plus 5.184 and that will give us 64.8 kilonewtons. Okay, so ayun lang.